What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the patch notes, how they work practically in-game with some of the characters that were more heavily nerfed or affected by these changes. We're also going to be talking about the size and scope of the patch, uh, what it's changed for the game at, as a whole, and also how I think it's going to affect competitive play. As you can see, we have Android 16 out here to start because one, I think he was the most affected character single-handedly in this patch uh, by far. Probably because he was the first Dragon Ball Fighters character that people really realized were like, wow, this character has a lot of good tools at his disposal. You know, he has the key blast, he has you know, he has he has basically the tool set of a big character with the speed of just, you know, any other character, as well as great tools for mix ups. Uh, and one of the things we saw nerfed with sixteen was the fact that his here, I'll open this up the special move list here. His dynamite driver used to be a flat out hard knockdown. Now let me show you the difference real quick between a sliding and a hard knockdown so that you can fully understand my point here. So we're gonna do a basic combo with Vegeta here. Uh, again, nothing too fancy. This is just, the, so this is sliding knockdown. You'll see them hit the floor and slide across it. Um, the, usually with sliding, well, always with sliding knockdowns. This is where you combo in your supers or you know, your supers and DHCs. Basically it's anything for that. And after that, your opponent gets the chance to tech uh, by holding a button in a direction so they pop up the ground. Uh, it gives them a chance to get back in the game on their you know, own accord, really. They don't have too many options, so on, on offense you still have the ability to like plan ahead for stuff. They don't have too many options. But it's definitely more than none, and a hard knockdown is you just get no options. You're done. So to show the same effect, so we'll watch here. Vegeta will send him into a sliding knockdown. He'll slide, but if we hit him with a level 3, this is all characters, by the way. If you hit with a raw level three, you'll see he just stands up very slowly. That's a hard knockdown, and you can't you can't pop up off the ground, so it's very easy to apply pressure off that. You can empty jump low, just overhead, things like that. And 16 was one of the characters that could just do this for free, really. Honestly, you could just dynamic driver you right into the ground. That used to be a hard knockdown. You see now after the patch, he pops up. Uh, so this is one thing that really changes the game, and it's something that they, it appears they made an effort to change up overall. But 16, it was really noticeable, because after he would slam you down, you would get up slowly, and he would have a, a mix-up where he could go over like that and cross you up. Uh, online, it was pretty hard to react to. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty trash at reacting to things like this, so I would even call it, like, maybe unreactable. Online, at least. Offline it wasn't too bad, but it was still a dirty mix-up, and it, for the price of no bar. That's what you have to remember. No bar. So the thing with uh, Android 16's 5 heavy and uh, 2 heavy, or just down heavy and normal heavy attacks, is that they used to have armor on them for everything. Now, but now you'll see if I play it here and I try to hit it, he still has that armor for normal hits. Uh, so that's pretty reasonable. You know, he's a big dude, obviously he should have some armor on that, especially with the way it works. But it used to also have armor from ranged attacks, so it would go through that even. And you're like, okay, that doesn't seem like too big of a deal. But in reality, that was a huge thing for him. So we'll have him do this. This move goes up, and it was also invincible. Yeah, I forgot to record it there. But you'll see when this move goes up, this was also invincible. So if we reset it here, if you were in this range with 16, like right here, it, it was just so, it was like, on offense, it was a terrifying place to be against 16. This space right here, this space, like at an angle to 16, you could fall here, get armored here, get armored up here. Uh, you could try poking with this, this could get armored through, any moves would get armored through. It was a pretty rough place to be when going against 16, and generally I just avoided this. He also has a thing that goes up to command grab you. So let's say you're like, oh, I don't want to get 5 heavied, you know, that would be pretty bad. And then he just, you know, here, I'll show you. He just comes in like, oh, you're in this zone right here. Boom. You're getting smashed down to the ground. <laughs> it was it was pretty it was pretty bad. But now, like I just showed you a second ago. So that's a huge change. Because now you can be in this area with 16. Say so you're coming in. Oof. And see, it's not I mean, you gotta be careful with it, obviously. But there. You don't have to worry about it too much. So he just stopped him flat on the ground there. So obviously that change to 16 gives some more advantage to Broly right off the bat since now Broly has more armor options than 16. At first it was like, okay, Broly has armor, but 16's armor is also insanely good. 
Now, now 16 kind of just falls in line. So that's everything that's changed with 16. It might not seem like too big of a deal, but in reality, a lot of comebacks were made when you just landed a hit, dynamic driver them, and a lot of comebacks were built off of this mix-up and, you know, anything else you could do off of this. And that armor was such a big help. Even, like, in the beta days, this armor has always been one of 16's best moves. So, in actuality, 16 got some of the hugest nerfs that we're going to see, uh, at least for a long while in Dragon Ball Fighters, especially in this patch. Nothing, nobody else got anything quite this detrimental. But 16 still, uh, don't get me wrong, he's still an amazing character. This projectile is some of the best in the game. Just two single hits uh, vanish off of that. His auto combo is still really good. I'm not sure, I'm not insanely sure if you can still guard that or not. You can even still use his auto combo as like a, a light mix-up. I'm not even sure if that's really good anymore. I think that was good back in the day. I'm not sure how many 16 players even still do this anymore. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you play 16. Or <laughs> if you're even going to play 16 after these nerfs. I haven't seen people's thoughts on 16. It's obviously he's still a good character, but he's nowhere near what he used to be. At least in my opinion. Up next, we're going to talk about Vegeta because he is one of the bigger... I, 16 got the biggest nerfs as a character, but it's easier to say that Vegeta's probably the thing that's going to affect the most people. As we see a lot of Vegetas on pretty much any team in a tournament, Vegeta can go in there with. And that's and that's entirely due. Let's not even... Let's not even... Um, let's not sugarcoat things. Vegeta's placements on teams are entirely due to how good his assist is. It used to be the best in just every... In every possible way. Every conceivable way, Vegeta's assist is the best. Uh, used to be. Lockdown, just hold him down like that. Just mix them up afterwards. Vegeta's assist, you can go high or low. You can see where they're going. It, it was so good. But now, they've changed. Usually, they used to be like, look, you see Android 16 blocking there? You used to have to block that. But if we just click record here and have this Android 16 call in his Vegeta, we can see... Where once, you would have to just block this like, oh, Vegeta got a block, have to eat a mix-up. Now, you can either block it and just, oh, I don't feel like blocking that anymore, reflect it. Or you can just say, oh, I want a super dash out of this now. And you can do it a lot earlier than what I'm showing you, just, uh, super dash. So, now there is no mix-up. Uh, again, though, this is a really big change in the game. Uh, in order to keep a, a sense of both players playing at the same time, like I said before, when you're blocking this, you're not really playing other than guarding up or down. Uh, really, the, it's, it's about adding more choices. This patch was about adding more choices uh, in high-level play. You could easily call it an eSports patch, but I do think it affects players in Ranked. I play a lot of Ranked, so I know that these characters were very popular, especially Vegeta. So where once you would have to eat that, now you can choose to either Super Dash out of it just raw, you could block it the whole way, just, I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, but you can, or you can reflect at certain points, you can wait it out, reflect the last hit, go in, so many more options now, basically that's the thing, uh, Vegeta's assist is still amazing for combos, you can still do Vegeta combos, obviously, uh, if you're a Bardock player, Vegeta's probably still going to be a, a mainstay on your team if you value uh, easy conversions off of your level 1, uh, Vegeta's assist is still... I would probably say still the best in the game, but it's not entirely, like, having a Vegeta's assist on your team is just a no-brainer. Like, you would want that over anything else in the game because it did everything so well. Uh, lockdown, you got it. Combos, you got it. Uh, just controlling neutral. It controlled a, a good amount of space. There's not an area in this where you would like to stand. Uh, you see full screen, I'm still hitting him. Full screen, I'm still hitting him with some key blast. So, and this is just up close. This is a tall character, so let's try Vegeta. Really, the only area you don't want to be, or you want to be, is... Well, Vegeta still appears behind. So even that point really doesn't uh, stay. But the point is, there's not a lot of space where you would want to be during a Vegeta assist. So it controls screen space, uh, combos, and block pressure. It, it, it's insane. Now it's a lot more... Uh, obviously, it's still not bad. So you can just see here. Is the Vegeta assist bad to use on block now? Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad. Again, it's still lockdown. You can see here, if we record this, call this in, and then do the heavy, 
Now what we're working with is this. So let's say I'm going to super dash out of it. And you know you're, you've seen your opponent. You know he likes to super dash out of this. So, uh, oh, okay. Well, I still got stuffed. So you still control your opponent's options. But now your opponent just has more options to choose from. So again, it's about choices. Now the opponent has a lot more choices. And speaking of choices, let's just hop right into uh, Gohan now. The man who could, if he wanted to, keep you in block stun for all day long. So let's let's switch out Gohan here on this side. So Gohan, uh, I'm sure you've all seen Goichi's old Gohan just keeping people locked down for so long. You, thanks to EX leg loops and this stuff. And then you just come, basically the gist was, you EX legs and then you come down with a light, go into lights. And then you just EX legs again. It's just a, a big loop that you can't, you couldn't really escape out of, no matter what you did. From my understanding, legs also got nerfed, I think. I uh, won't speak on that too much, but uh, for the most part, the legs getting uh, knocked down a peg are very important because it used to be inescapable. And you couldn't reflect, couldn't do anything. Now you'll see, if I do this and I put myself in the corner here, and I go, all right, well, let's do a lower. So now you'll see if I'm in the corner and I EX legs and then come down with a light. You'll see that if I'm blocking here and I EX legs, I can just reflect out of it. That wasn't the best, but you can reflect out of it now, and that's hugely important. Anything with full invincibility can get out of it as well. So you see if I'm playing as Vegeta, I have the option to, if I want to, I can knee out of it. You can also level 3 out of it if you would like to. That is another option you have with all characters, as I'm pretty sure all level 3s are invincible on frame 1. The other thing that got nerfed is that Gohan used to also have a way to uh, get a meterless hard knockdown. You see, I think that was the one that used to be meterless. Medium and heavy both used to just get meterless hard knockdowns. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that used to be a meterless hard knockdown there. So they took out a lot of meterless hard knockdown. So overall, the game is going to feel a lot more balanced when you're going against these characters in the sense that you're going to be able to defend yourself. Uh, really, the theme with a lot of top-tier characters right now, or top-tier teams, is that once they have you playing their game, you're going to be playing their game for a long time. So it used to just be Gohan gets you in the corner, gets a hard knockdown, calls in a Vegeta assist, legs loops you to death. That aspect of Gohan has been tuned down pretty greatly, as well as 16. You know, that's the theme with top tier characters. You go, da, 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 boom, you're hard knocked down, eat this mix up, eat this Vegeta assist, eat this Gohan. <laughs> you're going to be eating a lot, is basically what I'm saying. Now, let's back out here, change characters, and discuss some other things that I feel the need to talk about in this video. So another thing I wanted to talk about in this video were the characters that got hit in the crossfire of this patch. Um, these are characters that either got system mechanics, uh, changed them in some way, or something about s s just something that Arc System Work did to try and overall improve the game as a whole, uh, including bug fixes, really took away from something that these characters brung to the t from something that these characters brought to the table competitively. Uh, for example, Piccolo Assist used to be one of the used to be the only assist that if you did something a certain way. You could cross them up without cross-up protection with that assist on the screen. It made it super dangerous. So Piccolo players got really upset by that, obviously, because, you know, Piccolo's low tier. That's technically a nerf to Piccolo, even though that's just a bug fix. It does hurt the character. You might wonder why I have Nap out here. Uh, and it's not because the Cyberman thing got, uh, you know, docked down and damaged. It just changes the way it scales. But one, so they changed the way Nappa's too heavy uh, connects to this move here where Nappa drags himself to the ground and if you hold it he just stops so they changed the way it connected uh probably just as a they meant it as a quality of life change but what that actually did to napa players was change the way that they interact with the character basically in that aspect of the game because they had already come up with combo routes for this 2h specifically the way it hit and now the way it used to hit and now the way it hits what they used to do isn't possible anymore so napa players got hit in the crossfire with both system mechanic changes and just a quality of life change, I assume. And it just changes the way they play their character, and they're looking for all new combo routes now, and it, it's kind of just a mess. Another thing that these players really care about uh, is that, you know, and this is for a lot of characters, not just Nappa, and this is an argument I've been seeing all across every Dragon Ball Fighters board, is that by making Vegeta's assist worse, 
you're making it so low tier characters have a harder time. So what a lot of players would do is they'd call in Vegeta, they see him plugging, boom, they plant the Cyberman. Nappa does not have a lot of ways to get that Cyberman down safely without a, 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 an assist like Vegeta. So they call it in, they get the Cyberman down. Now they're, you know, now they're a dangerous character. So this is where Nappa players really wanted to get to. That's the state of the game they wanted to force on their opponent. But now it's a lot harder. Uh, and I get that argument, I really do. Vegeta's assist was an intricate part to a lot of low tier players, uh, to a lot of low tier characters, you know, goals. Um, I'll admit that as a Krillin player, I really wanted to use Vegeta because with his assist, I could get a Sensu Bean out when I really needed it. So Vegeta's assist is something that a lot of low tier characters really did benefit from. So changing it does hurt them a lot. And I think my argument to that would be, this is the first balance patch we've really gotten of this size. Uh, and it has a lot of bug fixes, and I do want to apologize because it's partly on me and everybody else that does YouTube videos like this. Uh, we can, or I, I can only speak for me, let's be honest. We kind of overhype this a little, and I do think part of the blame falls on Arxis for that, uh, with their wording, or just the translator's wording, that they would be changing up big things and system mechanics as well. Don't get me wrong, uh, system mechanics were, you know, tinkered with, but they were not, I would I wouldn't, I, I basically wouldn't have even bothered with listing them as system mechanic changes. Uh, and the nerfs and buffs weren't that big. They Again, they were more bug fixes to the characters than anything. Quality of life changes. Uh, but yeah, some characters got hit in the crossfire and this is the first big change. But I don't think changes like this should be made. Like, big changes like this shouldn't be made so sweepingly across the board. This Vegeta assist, that's a big change for high level play. 16, big changes, Gohan, decent changes, you know. I would say that's about the level you want to aim for. So, this patch is going to shake things up at that level. Uh, how much is yet to be seen, but I don't know. Just changing up everything for just a balance patch and not like a you know, second game uh, seems a little risky. It could have ended up like with some horrendously broken stuff. And, and I get the complaints that Cell didn't get touched, which is why I have him out right here. Cell is still Cell, but you got to remember that Cell and Vegeta used to just rule in tandem together. So by changing Vegeta, you're essentially changing Cell, and it might be worth looking into just seeing how Cell can do with this new Vegeta assist. Maybe it will be the same, maybe it'll be a little bit worse and not enough, or maybe he'll find a way to be better. But um, those sweeping changes are going to bring risk like that. Uh, and that's not really... Uh, that's not really me telling you how to feel, that's just me saying how I feel, uh, specifically. So I am sorry if I uh, overhyped this. Don't get me wrong, I was pretty shocked when I read the changes myself. But yes, I, I do apologize if I overhyped it, uh, which I definitely feel I did. <laughs> Other than that, there's really not too much I wanted to say about this patch. Again, it was smaller than usual. Uh, I guess we can hop over here and test out this beer stuff really quick. Oh, that's so much nicer. See, this is just... Quality of life changes. This is so much better. Two medium, just recover much quicker. This was rough. Also feels... Oh my god, that reach is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, quality of life changes. Well, that's going to be it for me for this video. Hopefully I got my thoughts out there on the balance patch as well as how it's going to address certain things at a high level. And let me know your thoughts on the balance patch as well. It doesn't have to agree with me. Remember that. I'm not going to... I'm, I'm never going to berate you for trying to share your own opinion on the game. Uh, and I would hope that you would do the same for other people in the comment section as well. Uh, it's okay to have different thoughts on this. Maybe you're disappointed, maybe you're ecstatic, maybe you're sad that they nerfed your favorite character, or you thought they went a little overboard, or they didn't go overboard enough. Uh, either way, you know, let me know your thoughts. If you like the video and channel, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.